Guys, what's going on? Check out that river behind me. There's seagulls sitting everywhere. There's bald eagles all over the place. So we are just a little bit remote today. A little remote, not, not like anything totally out of the ordinary, but, uh, but this is a beautiful place. I wanna show you uh, kind of where I'm at and what's going on. I've got a little, kind of, there's that main river behind me. And then there's, see that stream behind me there? It's full of salmon. When I walked up, I saw um, a whole school of chum salmon swimming. We might be able to see him again. I don't really want to bug him too much and we're not gonna fish this side creek. Uh, even though it looks super tempting and you can see the fish swimming around, these are spawning fish, so we don't want to bug them. I tried to pack light, guys, but when I when I go out there, I do have to bring some extra things. You know, my camera gear, you're watching from a GoPro right now, uh, and this is just my phone that I film pretty much everything else with. Uh, then we got two poles. I've got one bait casting setup and a spinning setup, and of course my backpack, rest of the camera gear, spare batteries, all kinds of stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead and find a cool spot to fish. I feel like that there looks like a pretty good drift, so we might start floating a bobber uh, through that back there and work our way down there, because this looks like a good drift all the way through here. All right, guys, so we just found a really good spot. Uh, we're gonna fish kind of right over there. There's, there's just a slow spot. It looks like the water's a little deeper, and that could be a holding area for these steelhead. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna sneak over there. I'm just gonna uh, gear up. I haven't even touched the water yet back there. Um, I think we're gonna start with our bobber rod. We're gonna do a dual setup where we're going to uh, float two baits at the same time. One's gonna be uh, on the bottom. We're gonna have a jig tipped with a piece of shrimp, and then up top we're gonna have one of these uh, steelhead worms that we're gonna float. And by shrimp, I literally mean just cheap store bought uh, like tiger prawns. I think is what they're called. All right, guys, here we go. We've got our slip float right there. Um, and then we have our leader with our top setup being that little worm. And down here we have the jig with a uh, little piece of shrimp. We're gonna sneak over to that hole. And we're gonna see if we can't try and catch something. Six bald eagles sitting right up here. So we are in a fantastic spot. And I haven't even mentioned yet, if you are brand new to this channel, then uh, first off, thank you so much for watching. And uh, my name is Life, and this is another episode of Northwest Fishing Secrets, where we fish and have fun in Washington State together. So uh, if you guys enjoy that kind of fishing, then uh, feel free to check out some of my other videos. We've done some pretty rad stuff. And uh, of course, subscribe if you want to see epic weekly fishing videos. So only one more thing to do. We've snuck up to the hole. We're gonna make our first cast, fingers crossed. Here we go. It's on, guys. That might have not been uh, far enough. I think we're dragging on the bottom just a little bit. Now, one thing I'm happy about is this is not tangling so far. So that's, uh, <laughs> that's kind of nice. I was expecting more of a mess. Now one reason why I like using a bait casting uh, reel for bobber drift fishing is that it's really easy for me to release more line to drift super far down river without having to open and close a bail. Uh, you can see the spool is just wide open and running and if I got a fish, boom, I can just close the uh, spool like that um, or just put my thumb on it to stop it.
check it out. I think we've got a chum salmon hanging out right in front of us. There's a dead one here. Look at that, I'm gonna try and sneak up to it so you can take a look. <laughs> look at that, he's right in front of us. Oh, he senses us. He senses us. He knows something's up. Dude. Man, he's been through something. All right guys, so, so far, no luck with the uh, worm and jig setup. So let's use the spinner rod, do a little bit of spinner fishing. It can't hurt, right? All right, so this is the little spinner that we're gonna use. Uh, what we're actually gonna do is just backtrack and uh, go back to the spot where all the salmon we're holding. Maybe we've got a steelhead that's hanging out in there as well. All right, so we're gonna switch back to our bobber setup here. That's a fish on, guys. Oh, that's a fish on, baby. Come here, come here. Not putting up too much of a fight. Went for that top jig. Oh, guys, it's a chum. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. This fish is so crummy that I straight up thought it was a steelhead at first. I'm actually gonna retain her. I know a lot of people say that chum doesn't taste very good. Um, but we're gonna go ahead, get this fish away from the water where we can lose her. That's happened to me before. No! Ah. Then we'll bonk her and we'll take a close look at this fish. So before we start fishing again, there's one thing that's really important to do after bonking and bleeding your fish, and that is smashing the like button for the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so behind on comments and stuff. Yeah, catch a shark in Hawaii. That's what I tried doing over there. I didn't catch one though. I catch more sharks here. What we're gonna do is I'm just gonna cast out in this water right behind me here. So this is a weird feeling. We're actually fishing live right now. I've got. A bunch of people watching on Instagram right there. Uh, the way I'm gonna do live fishing is on Instagram, plus I post there almost daily. Uh, so if you're not already following me there, feel free to uh, find me on there. It's just at NW Fishing Secrets. Oh, that's a shame, guys. The, my phone just died on you. So we're gonna just keep fishing and pretend like that didn't happen. <laughs> So speaking of smashing the like button, I have a couple questions for you guys, and I've been burning to ask this, uh, and you can just drop your answer in the comment section below. How long have you been subscribed? What made you subscribe? And like, what is your favorite of my videos? And just drop that into the comments. Uh, I'm gonna read every single one. I'm really curious what you guys have uh, to say. It's kind of like a little poll that we're gonna do here. Of course, if you are not subscribed yet, uh, then the question should be, why are you not subscribed yet? <laughs> just kidding. But seriously, if you don't want to miss the uh, weekly videos that I put out, uh, then you can just hit the subscribe button and make sure to ring the notification bell. That way you actually get notified on your app or your, your uh, computer whenever I upload a new video. It's every week. All right, guys, I give up. That's it. No more fishing for me. I tried but could not catch a second fish. I uh, just wanted to 
check out with you guys as we enjoy uh, the view of this awesome uh, surprise chum salmon that I caught while I was trying to catch you guys an early winter steelhead. Didn't happen today, but I know it's gonna happen soon. I'm gonna be at some different rivers here over the next few weeks uh, fishing exclusively uh, for steelhead for you guys. Uh, there's also gonna be a sturgeon video coming up soon for you. So uh, hope to see you guys all for uh, those next mystery adventures. Thank you everyone so much for your support. Um, to all my subscribers, we're at almost 9,000 people now and uh, making these videos for you guys is absolutely amazing. I enjoyed a lot and seeing that you guys enjoy them just as much is, it just makes it all the more worth it. So uh, thank you, that's all I wanted to say. So I hope to see you all for uh, the next crazy random Washington fishing adventure that we go on. Until then, you guys know it, fish on.